Well, hello there. Welcome back. Let's see. You got four housings? Why four? I thought I said you five. Never mind. Four housings. <coughs> No, let's bring some more IC chips. Okay, five is fifty gold, twenty-five electrum. Need a little bit more gold. All right, you're printing. First thing, I'm going to relocate this one. At least that's the plan. So we can start filling the system. You're blinky blinky, yeah I know you're blinky blinky. So I was thinking to place the over here like that. Nice in the middle, yes. And over here in another frame. And maybe we need to go to the right one. Honestly, is hmm, frame the frame. Can I place you one on the other side? Problem is, now we can do it. Then we can even place you like this. Problem is going to be the shoots. Shoot. Like that. As you're there. So shoots in. This can go straight up then. Then we do the inlets over here. And out is going to be that way. So we can hook on the rest. And that needs to be a junction then. Junction the right way. Shoot junction. Yep. Like that. Alright, you in there. Get my welder. We gonna get still sheets. And I'm gonna think I'm gonna do you on a separate circuit, otherwise it will draw too much power. So... We need a transformer. And some cables. Transformer. Right color cables, just red is fine. Oh, heavy cables, never mind. I place you. Um, honestly, when you have there, but can I then 
get the logic circuits. I think you need to go here then. <clears throat> A slot reader, and we need a logic writer like that. Wire them up. Okay, that's that part. Now the other side. So the setup could should be easy. In is going to be we don't have much on it, so just arc finder slot import occupied. In is slot slot reader, out is going to be arc furnace, and it's going to be activate. We just need some heavy cable. And some ores, so we can start filling the system. Here there. Hopefully I have enough heavy. We'll see. Oh, um, daylight, you, um. All right, said you four five zero zero should be enough. Put you on paint. We need some more. Do I have something in my? No, we don't have anything. Let's grab some coal, some silicon and some copper, it should be enough. Coal, gold, gold. Also to check if the system works correctly, I think it should. That looks good for smelting. So, okay, uh, let me do a quick check. It's green, so no storm. Normally I would do the, uh, for this system, the other side first, but since we don't have any ores in it, I'm going to program one IC first. Grabbing you. And then edit it. <clears throat> no, I need something else first. I need some logic memories before I forget it. Then we do the programming. Uh, decrease till make me three logic memories. Okay, we start with one, the other two can print. Hey, 
Right, logic memory needs to go here so I can read memory. Then I know this is the, the port of connection zero. That's connection one. And that is what we need. So clear. So the only thing what we have, honestly, is going to be the logic memory. I call it always request. That's going to be on D zero. Just so we know. Then we're going to do a start or just loop. Yeah, loop. And a yield. So what I want is that I want to request all the ingots, uh, gold, copper, and all that kind of stuff that I want to have automatically. I'm going to use the um, logic channels for that. So first what I want to do is I want to read from the logic channel that is from the uh, that goes through that logic memory. We want to read D0 then connection 1 and then we're going to use channel 0. That is what we're going to do. Then we're going to say it's not equal. Okay, that's not equal, yeah. The uh, branch, I'm going to do branch, not equal. And then R0. And I'm going to confirm this because I need you. Set you there. Then we can put you there. First, we're going to go to ingots. And then when R0 is not equal to o iron. It needs to jump a certain amount. I don't know what yet, but let's do four. I don't know if it's correct. But when it's equal, it has to bet right. Oh, that's what I've got in SBN device name. And I'm going to just do VM. Uh, oh, sorry, divine VM. That's my vending machine. Nice and short. We need the vending, not refrigerated, but a normal one. We need the prefab hash. That's one. So let's go back to ingots. Okay. When VM and then the name hash, that is hash. And then we're going to say VM no, dash iron. Close it. That's correct. Logic type is um, who? What was it again? Vending. It's no, not storage, blah, blah, blah. Completely down. Request this. That was it. We do re request hash. That's R0 is equal to 0. Then we're going to wait a yield. So when it requests iron, it's equal, so it won't skip. Then it says, okay, it gives it iron. It will wait one tick. And then I'm going to say to the logic channel, okay. The um, iron is on the way. In this case, the iron ingot is on its way. So <clears throat> I'm giving, I'm going to set um, that channel on connection one. I'm going to say channel zero, and we are going to use something. I always call it my waiting coffee mug. You can use any number, but I'm just good using this number. So when it's going to give and then it's going to be going to do the next one. So brands not equal R0 and then we're going to do copper. So we can do something like here. Hashtag iron. Then I know this is iron. 
and we need to repeat this part completely for each vending machine that's eight times so we have something to do so copper ingot copper and jump four that is the correct word because this is one two three and then it's going to four to the next to the fourth line so it's it's not equal to this line it's going to skip four one two three oh it's going to no, no, yeah one two three four it's gonna skip going two line four lines further and that's going to be this line so if you fill one it should be needlessly this one so that's nothing to do but two that means it skips one line in this case it skips three and goes four lines further now we can copy this part only vm is going to be copper of course and also we need to rename all the you need to have the right names on the right vending machines and this part can just be copied so copy this part we're going i want golds and then on this part and this is going to be golds and this can just be copied so this was gold let's do over here hashtag copper and here hashtag gold and this is gonna be hashtag silicon so we need to change that to silicon ingot and yes i could do a batch right but nah. this is honestly a kind of batch right this is silicon and then the yield and this can be copied again so next one is going to be silver ingot no silver and uh, copy that line gonna change this to silver then uh, oh yeah yield and then set d0 channel 1 the weight command next line it's going to be let this is going to be let I'm going to say over here VM let yield set channel maybe there are better ways or easiest ways but I have done this before only didn't <coughs> sorry didn't save it nickel so we need to go to um, ingot nickel oh there needs a row between whoops that needs to be this one nickel yields and then copy this line again 
and the next one the last one we should have one more and that's one i'm going to use is the steel so steel well almost steel vm steel we give that yield again and then copy that one and the last one is going to be jump loop so we should have eight one two three four five six seven eight yeah because we have eight vending machines confirm export put you in there so the only thing what we have is a logic memory let's rename that logic memory oh oh dear yeah i know what's going on i forgot to turn you off never mind all fine okay This is going to be LM request. So the only thing what we need to set is this one needs to be logic memory request. And this should now be ready to go. Okay, it doesn't give any errors. That's correct. So that's the first time, first thing we programmed. Also, we have done some smelting. So the first. Yeah, we have a little bit of 100 silicon, 100 gold. Oh, the other system did also work. We have also 100 iron. Did you spit out? But you didn't have enough, so you made a mistake. You can see it, it automatically emptied, it is now uh, pulling up again, but the steel maker didn't do his work. There's something not correct in the code. Okay, first we need to drink and eat and then we're going to check that code. He put it only one iron. Why he does it, done it, I have no idea. Do we have something to eat? Last potato. So, my other system is not completely working yet. But I'm still low on iron, I don't get it. So, there are probably some mistakes going on. Let's do that. Troubleshooting. It should be this I see. So move R10 or move R20 loop. Yield load in sorter if occupied. Brands equal R2 is 6. R2 R at oh at R2 R26. Oops. That needs to be 1. Okay, we had a small mistake in there. That didn't need to be six, that needs to be one. Let's try that again. All right, we need to... This is now going to be region, so... Um, how are we going to solve that? By... 
adding manually some iron. Okay, we had 50. We needed... Um, two, three. We needed five more. I hopefully... Let's see if it works now. Oh, I cannot put it manually. Um, that's easy to fix. We're just going to do a inlet here. Then a corner and we need one more shoot. We have one more shoot. And only power shoots. Give me one more shoot. There is going to be a junction then. Okay, we have 50 iron hundred. Honestly, I did it correct, but oh, you in there, two, three. You can see the temperature is going to drop because this is not on gas. So you can see it gassing and it's on gassing, but with a little bit of luck, we're still on temperature above 600K, is it? But it will equalize again. That's why I'm not using this to do the um Okay, that worked. And you are still smelting, so also that works. That means now we have the first steel in our system also. Yep. But I'm still a little bit how much we have. Oh wait, then we have more iron. Yep. I don't know how much iron we have. Okay, that's the first part we programmed. Now, let's do the other side. Well, let's do one printer first. That's for I needed the other logic memory. Oh, and there's something else. Um, I cannot do it at the moment. Uh, you in there. Um, why do I have my heavy cables over here? So I'm going to do also a logic memory over here. You can use uh, other devices also, but I'm just using logic memories in this case. Memory, yep. Brilliant. One spare memory. That we're gonna use for the next part. Okay. Oh, I forgot something. You. Can I program if you're here? Yeah. Also, I'm just going to call this logic memory <laughs> quest. Brilliant. Now I need to remove some cable and I want to do something more with shoots. Okay, let's remove you first. So. And honestly, I had something else in mind. So if I run you a little bit longer and over here, we're going to do a power shoot again. And we do a manually request. 
So uh, you open and you open. Okay, we have some working space. I need some more shoots. You can print me ten more shoots. Then, um, yeah, I need that powered shoot. Uh, where are you? Range. Yep. No. That was too quick. I'm gonna make also a power shoot over here. That was a left one. Let's rename it already. Where's my labeler? There's my labeler. Shoot manual. One straight and then can do one more straight or shall we do now we don't the outlet of right here. Outlets Come on. Yeah, like that. Checking, do we have now you know storm incoming? I need to open this. All right, I need an IC housing. Think you're going to be there. We need one. I can maybe skip the logic memory. But what I need is a console. One. We need more copper. I need switches two times. Can I console monitor there? Then over here I want to have my dial. Oh no, can I place a button maybe down here like this? Oh and can I do my logic memory over there I think? That's all I need, I think. I hope I do it. Yeah. And cables. I had always a logic memory. Down. Also, you need to be hooked up. Where is my hip? And you need to be hooked up. Where's my memory? Where did I put that logic memory? Hello, where did I put you? Oh, there. Outside. It's easy to go, uh, hooking up. That's done. So get our labeler. 
this is dial manual it is button uh, manual and this is going to be i'm going to call it lm hash and this is shoot oh is inlet now shoot outlet this wrong it's not an inlet it needs to be an outlet shoot outlet manual paint laptop IC chip and a little bit of coding but now I'm gonna get it from a library uh, solo tracking I size that one the only thing is that your output should sort of that one oh yeah that's sort of that's correct but we have logic memory request on d3 so this needs the set logic memory setting no this is going to be d3 connection one channel zero zero then we can copy this part now we can copy that part load into r3 this is going to be channel 0 so everywhere where I have logic mem request it's going to be channel 0 set d3 set load oh I need that part coffee dispense load r3 coffee here yeah. channel 0 channel 0 I think I have everything oh I need to count I forget that it's 10 uh, 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 yep So this needs to be to set to 10 max. Now we need to set here. This is dial. So we need dial manual. This is the button manual. This is the logic memory hash. So we need the logic memory hash. and oh can oh wait yeah cannot can i not cannot not 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 dang that's a bummer i cannot set you i cannot touch the screws why can i not touch dang okay let's do that again rewiring And you needs to go there. And that logic memory has to go there then. That was a bummer. It looked so nice. You can go straight. Uh, yep. Yeah. Strange. And you don't. Alright, let's do that. Try it again. Let's rename you. Let's rename you. Ok. 
Okay, we're gonna run you one time. So dial, dial manual. Dial manual. Then we have over here button manual. This is going to be logic memory. Hash. This is logic memory request. This is going to be the output shoot. Calling shoot output outlet manual. Yes. And then we have the sorter, but that's not a sorter. That's shoot manual. That one. Just a hiccup in encoding. All right. Um, I need a hash display. We need a glass. I think you're ready to go. We do a, a dial logic memory request. No, no. Where is it? Um, that one. No, put you on. Let's see what it does. Iron, brilliant. Copper, gold. So we have iron now. So I'm going to set you to iron. And where did I put my two plastic sheets there? Anything what I before we do anything else, I need to set one thing before I forget it. You needs to be on and you needs to be to zero to one. Alright. So well, let's see if we can do a test. So it, yeah. So if I press the button. You should you give that vending machine giving me one iron and it should get out here. So let's test it. It's doing nothing. Why is it doing anything? That's a bummer. All right, now comes the fun part. Decoding. Find the uh, logic memory, alias logic memory request. Okay, set D3 channel zero zero. Okay, that's correct, set mode. Oh wait, cancel. I need to check one thing. So has the shoot been set? Yes, you have been set, so probably Oh, I know what we forgot. The most important thing. We didn't rename the vending machines. Then it won't work. Iron. It is... Copper. This is going to be... Gold. Very important to give them the right names. Silicon. That this is going to be silver. This was lead. Nickel. And this is still okay. Let's try that again. Open you. We're gonna reset you. I'm gonna have some uh, other place where we're going to reset it, but um, let's try that again. Yep, you can see, give it. And now it's a pop out here. 
And we have iron. Brilliant. No, you in there. But that part is working. Now we just need the system to fill up completely with all the king goods and also the ore. And hopefully this one. Okay, that's on temperature still, so that's good. You are at 191. We can always fill it with this. Oh yeah, and we need to program the silos. First, I'm going to get some water and some wasting. Empty, food. 24 degrees in here, so that's all correct. Okay, first I've got a drink. Then we're going to check our, it's our waste tank. Let's replace also our oxygen tank then. And we need some food, our last potato a little bit fine for now next time we'll cook the others oh we can make corn that's for next time so the first part we have now done of the logic system the request system call system how i call it uh, i call it the request system We have uh, programmed the VM machines, we have programmed our uh, manual request. The next thing is we're going to do is, in the next episode, we're going to program the printers. But before I'm going to do that, we need some um, ingots in the system. Otherwise it will run pretty quick empty. So maybe some mining first. And also we need to set the silos. Because you have zero, you have zero, you should have coal. You have five coal already. Okay. But yeah, the system is now filling up. So this one is automatically running. Hopefully the next time this one will do his job. And then we can slowly start filling our vending machines and starting building, uh, connecting also the printers to the system. But yeah, that's going to be for this time. Um, thanks for watching and happy building.